Generally speaking, I am unbothered most of the time and people around me have said this many times and they have asked How do I do it? So let's let's just chat about that being unbothered doesn't always necessarily mean that Things don't affect you or you don't get you're not sensitive or you don't feel hurt You don't feel pain. It just means that you realize that you can't control everything in life You can't control people you can't control what happens in the world but what you can control is your immediate surrounding and the people you allow in your space you know to be close to you because i like to protect my energy i don't know about you but i sense people's aura i sense people's intentions i already know the end of a relationship at the beginning if you see me not getting too involved with you it's because somehow my instincts tell me that this is not gonna end well i tend to cut people off and i have mastered that art i am very good at cutting people off again i need to protect my energy don't take everything personal it's not personal and sometimes it might be like a personal attack but i choose not to see it that way sometimes i just tell myself that this has something to do with you your own personal issues nothing to do with me i'm talking about the outside world outside us the big world that we go out to and a lot of cool things happen out there and i just need you to have a strong heart guard your heart protect you don't expect too much from people don't expect too much from yourself putting unnecessary pressure on people and putting unnecessary pressure on yourself the perfect example is in a relationship people tend to go into relationships thinking that the person should bring them happiness you should already be happy and whole as a person and if you get in a relationship that person should add to your happiness you're just setting yourself up for disappointment because we can't control what other people do okay so if you expect too much from people my other philosophy in life is never say more than necessary if you're in a situation and you, let's say you decide not to keep your mouth shut or it's a situation you feel is safe enough to speak your mind but never say more than necessary stick to the point go straight to the point and basically summarize your thoughts in a few sentences if you ramble on and on you end up saying things that will offend people basically because you wouldn't have thought through what you're about to say that brings me to my next point it's all connected i never ask questions with answers that i know i will not like okay i'm not setting up myself for disappointment or to be upset if i know i'm not gonna like that answer i'm not gonna ask you i always walk away early i have learned how to pay attention to how the situation's going if i think it's gonna escalate to something physical or worse or screaming and shouting i will walk away early flight i'm never gonna make it in those reality shows because i don't do drama that's basically what being unbothered is i feel as though when i react to things or i react to things the way other people want me to i'm giving them that power over me and i'm not about to do that it's not like my emotions take control of me you know i i usually think through before i do something does that make any sense my reasoning always comes in even when i think i want to be wild and break a couple plates in the midst of being angry my brain just says wait a minute wait who who's gonna clean this up if i break my plates they're my plates though so why would i be breaking so i try to redirect my thoughts onto things that actually matter that are more constructive and that bring me happiness and joy another way that i stay unbothered is when i watch these trends all these different things that are happening in the world and everybody's jumping on the bandwagon and i just can't okay it's draining and one minute everybody's focused on this next minute it switches to something else everyone's forgotten about that thing that we're just thinking about five minutes ago i can't allow myself 
to get swept away with society and things. You know what they say, take the narrow road. I remain unbothered because I am not out there looking for validation. It's not every type of attention that I like or that I welcome. There's only like a certain type of attention that I like. And that's the kind of mind frame that I have. And I've had this mind frame since I was a child, but of course, over the years with my personal experiences, it's become more concrete. I feel as though having an unbothered mind frame is not only a defense mechanism, it's protection mechanism. It's a protection you put in place for yourself as you go through life and challenges because life is tough. People are not nice out there. People are not as nice as you and I. It's a lot of work sometimes just being nice. Look, I have a hard time being nice sometimes, but I have to realize that this is what keeps me sane as I go through life. When we're talking about being unbothered, there are certain topics that we can't ignore. I don't mean hide behind a shell and hibernate when certain things in the world are happening. You definitely need to stand up and state where you stand. Derek Jackson, advice, relationship guru, whatever he was, and it turns out that he cheated on his wife. You state your opinion, you feel disappointed because people were actually taking his advice and he wasn't following his own advice. Basically, he was being a hypocrite. And of, of course, we have the right to be upset about that, but am I gonna lose sleep over it? Am I going to give him a second thought? No, that is up to the woman he's dealing with, his family, and maybe some of his advice was beneficial to other people. It doesn't mean completely write off everything he said, but it was hypocritical of him to say one thing and be doing the opposite. But it's like doctors, really. There's doctors who smoke, but they're not gonna tell you that, hey, look, I smoke, da-da-da-da-da, because then that just sounds like they're encouraging bad habits. It is their duty to let you know that smoking is bad for you. So at the end of the day, you have to make that decision for yourself because your decisions affect you. No one else, you. So it's your responsibility. It is our responsibility to put ourselves first. Being unbothered doesn't mean you're ignorant. No, it's completely different. I like to educate myself. I like to be well informed so that when I decide or make decisions, they are informed decisions. And I have no regret because I made that decision. We have to be responsible. We are responsible for our own actions. So if you decided to kick him to the curb, don't need somebody else to validate that. You made that decision because it was the best one for you to make. And that's the whole point of being unbothered with other people's business. Don't take it to heart. Mind your own business. <laughs> That's basically what I'm good at. I'm good at minding my own business. Are you unbothered or does everything just get to you and you lose sleep? Let's talk about it in the comment section and I will see you in my next video. Bye.